Okay, this problem is problem number four from section 6.1. And we're supposed to find the arc length of this. So what does this look like? So I'm going to pull out my calculator. And I'm going to type in that equation. 2 square root of x to the third. And let's get in a little closer, zoom four. And so we're finding the length of the arc between x equal two and x equal five. Well, that goes off the screen, but that's what we're doing. We've got a function that looks like this. And we're looking between 2 and 5. Now I could actually find the points at those places. 2 cubed is 8. So I got 2 square root of 8 as the height. At 2, it's 2 square root of 8. And at 5, it's... 2 uh, square root of 5 cubed, 125. Now I could figure out the straight line distance by just going the uh, difference um, 5 minus 2 squared and this minus this quantity squared square root. But it would be less than the actual distance, which is a curve. Now let's just figure that out just so we that check. So 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 squared plus, now I want to go parentheses, 2 square root of 1, 2, 5 minus 2 square root 8. squared. So I got the change in the x squared and the change in y squared. Change in x was 3 squared. This distance is that squared. And then I got to take the square root and I get the straight line distance between these two points is 16.971-ish. Sorry, had that off the there. So that's the shape of the curve, and I put 5 in, and I put 2 in, and got these points, and I just figured out the straight line distance. But they want the distance along the arc. So we'd have to do it in little chunks. Now, in general, the length of an arc is the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. Um, and that's the distance between two points. Now, if I want to break this up into two little tiny distances, I need to figure out some way to do that using calculus. Now, I did this in class. I said, well, let's just divide this by, um, let's factor the change in x squared out of this. So I get the, uh, this is equal to change in x squared times 1 minus uh, plus change in y squared divided by a change in x squared. Then I can pull this out of the square root and I get the square root of 1 minus change in y over change in x both squared change in x. And now if I do this in little tiny chunks, all the chunks, all these deltas become differentials. And so I get the formula for finding arc length is the square root of 1 minus change in y over change in x is uh, dy over dx is just the derivative of the function. And it's squared. And this is dx. And I add up all the chunks from 
something to something, and that would give me the length of the arc. So in this case, I'm going to go integral, and my x is going to go from 2 to 5 of the square root of 1 plus, I don't know why I keep wanting to write minus, 1 plus the derivative of this. So f prime of x, so I've got to take the derivative of this. This is 2x to the 3 halves. Half for the square root and cubed because that's cubed inside. So I got to find the derivative of that. So I go take the 3 halves down times this. So I get 2 times 3 halves x to 1 less power, which is 1 half. So I get uh, the 2's cancel. I get 3 square root of x, 3 square root of x. That's the derivative. And now i got to square it, dx. So this turns in the integral from 2 to 5 of the square root of 1 minus 9x dx. 3 squared is 9. Square root of x squared is x. With a u sub, dx would be du over negative 9. And this integral would change to, since I'm changing to u, I need to change these. So 2 here is 1 minus 18 is minus 17. And if I put 5 in, 1 minus 45 is minus 44. Square root u, du over negative 9. The negative 9 comes out as negative 1 ninth. Integral from minus 17 to minus 44 uh, of the square root of u, du, but that's u to the 1 half. To integrate it, I add 1 and divide by what I get, so that becomes negative 1 ninth u to the 3 halves over 3 halves evaluated from negative 17 to negative 44. So I got to put negative 44 in for u and negative 17 in for u. And that's a problem. What did I do? Oh, dang. I changed that to minus. That's supposed to be plus. So this is supposed to be plus. This is supposed to be plus. This is supposed to be plus. I did the minus thing again. Okay, so putting 2 in there, I get 18, 19. Plus 19 and plus 46. I knew it was a problem because that says square root. I can't do square roots of negatives. Okay, so I could put those in there and get that answer, or I could have just typed in here the math number 9, the integral from 2 to 5 of square root of 1 plus 9x, got the plus right that time, dx. And we should get 
16.975. Notice that that's a little bit more than just doing the straight line distance. This curve adds a little length to it. Okay? So that's the length of the arc from here to here in this curve. It wasn't curved very much, as you might remember from the graph. It's not curved very much, so it's almost going to be the same as the straight line distance. Okay.